So for our final day of Math is Everywhere week, I asked people to go and look through different stories. Some of us use the iPad, some of us use the tablets, some of us use the computer, some of us use the stories themselves, and we searched for numbers, colors, shapes, sizes, temperature, time, uh, different sorting things, and the colors were related to the sorting, and even measurement too. And we looked to see if we could really find math everywhere. Then we brought our post-it notes back to the carpet, and we worked together to sort what we did. We made little groupings with our post-it notes. So, who can share for me? What did you find? What did you find? Okay. found a very interesting pattern as you were reading the runaway pancake. Do you remember what that interesting pattern was that you found? What did you find? Um, that there was a song and yes. like each time um, it adds on because a pancake goes past someone but then the growing pattern ends. Oh, so it was a growing pattern. So what so in that case, that was funny because what did we find out about patterns yesterday or what do we think we found out about patterns yesterday? Um, we thought that patterns never ended. But what happened in that case? Um, that the pancake got um, past lots of animals. Yes. But then one of the animals tricked him and he got eaten. So when he did, there was no more to add to that growing pattern, was there? Maybe it almost became like a shrinking pattern and everything disappeared. But it didn't really work backwards, did it? No. Okay, who else found something? What did you two find? Uh, so we were doing the runaway pancake. Yes. And but uh, when, when Kyle said um, uh, um, when um, he got eaten, yes, he actually I, did. So he, he, actually, um, he sang a song in the, in the guy's belly. Yes. He um, threw up, and yes. the pancake, the pan we saw on the last page, the pancake wasn't in the guy's yeah, stomach. and it was swinging, he saw him running. Flying. So, how does that help you then with the pattern? What would have happened then? Because it, it could have went on and on, but he, uh, he, he didn't, he, the, they wanted to stop the book and end it. Okay, who else found something different, something other than patterns in their book? What did you find? Um, Okay. And we knew that it was a color because it has two colored in. Okay. So two were colored in and then two were blank. So if there were two colored in and two blank and then two colored in and two blank, what did that also make it? A pattern. Again. Okay, who else found something interesting that they can share? Uh, what did you find? Um, so um, we measured... Shape, yes. And, and inside um, the paper bag princess, um, we saw like um, hearts, so much hearts, and and inside um, inside no mirrors in my nana's house. Yes. We saw um, a square on someone's jeans. Oh, and you found a lot of shapes too. What shapes did you find? Mm, shapes, mm, cup, couplet, or rectangle. The couplet was a rectangle. What other shapes did you no, find? Half circle. Oh, good. Big half circle. Mm, and the coat are square. Oh, did anyone else find squares? Mm -hmm. Did anyone else find squares? You found squares? What did you find that were squares? Um, we found lights, um, the, a fence, um, a shell, um, okay. How did 
did you know that they were squares and not rectangles? Okay, so how did you know that those were squares and the other ones were rectangles? Oh, thank you. So, did we find out? Is math everywhere? Yeah! Raise your hand if you enjoyed our Math is Everywhere week. I think we have to try more different Math is Everywhere things every single day.